It's a difficult time of year for me and my family. Earlier this week was the anniversary of the stillbirth of my son Robert, which happens to fall during Baby Loss Awareness Week. I spent an hour talking with Department for Health and Social Care staff about our experiences of losing children. Terrible thing when all your sort of plans and hopes get just knocked sideways. None of us like talking about death full stop, but in particular we don't like talking about the death of uh, babies because it's such a, a difficult subject. My wife went for her 20 week scan, they noticed a fetal uh, abnormality, there was a further check with a consultant. Uh, at that point they identified something called Edward syndrome, which is a very rare uh, genetic disorder which is described rather unhelpfully as not compatible with life. Eight years ago today, um, uh, my son was uh, still born full, uh, full term. It is incredibly hard on relationships. Um, a very high percentage of um, relationships break down following the loss of a baby or loss of a child. Hallelujah, what is that to you right now? Wrongly, men often feel this need to hold everything together for the family, to be the strong one, to not express their emotions, and, and that's something that we need to, to change. In 2015, I was elected as a Member of Parliament for Colchester. It allowed us then to set up the all-party parliamentary group where we could focus on, yes, preventing baby loss wherever possible, but also, importantly, improving the quality of bereavement support across the country and doing everything we could to break the taboo and stigma um, around baby loss. I assumed the bereavement suite like the Rosemary Suite in Colchester was something that existed in every hospital trust in the country and sadly that wasn't true. Um, over the last few years we've come on a long way actually but at, uh, back back then it was it was still very very patchy. I can't imagine what it what it would be like to lose a baby where you're in, in a ward that's full of uh, life, balloons, teddies, colour, happy parents uh, and, and don't go wrong I, I, I wish them all the very best and, and I wouldn't want to take anything away from their moment of joy but it's also someone else's moment of um, emotional turmoil and tragedy and, and having that, that quiet private space to grieve, mourn. Uh, in our case we knew from 22 weeks it was likely that Robert was going to be stillborn but for many, many parents who go through a miscarriage or a stillbirth or even a neonatal death, it comes as a complete shock and surprise. So we've got to ensure that they have the, the time and the space to, to grieve in peace. I'm now so pleased to now be inside the department. So instead of working outside, uh, I have responsibility for patient safety and I know that we have so much to do. So hopefully to bring a little different perspective. Hi darling, how's your day been? I hope to play my part in creating a space for those who face baby loss to share and support one another, to remember, raise awareness and ultimately drive change for the better.